Hi, this is Jo here, and in this video I'd like to share with you some of the widgets which you can get from Smart Exchange. So the first thing you need to do is to sign in or join up with Smart Exchange or simply log in. You need to select file type and select widget. Now the simplest way I think to explain a widget is if you picture a flash file which has been created you can't edit it, but you can use it interactively on your board. There are a range of different widgets which you can download. You can click to preview, and if you like it, you can download it. I've selected a few to share with you. This one here is called Number Cruncher. So the widget creates the questions and the students write the answers. So you can see that the widget will recognise the writing of the pen tool and it recognises the correct and incorrect answer. This widget here is called a word breaker. So what you do is you type in your word. Weather. And you break the word, then what you can do, you notice now that all the letters are broken individually. You can highlight the words, change the font if you choose, and the size. And then students can use the letters to drag and interact with it to create other words. You could uh, type in your spelling list words, break up the words, and then ask students to drag to create the spelling words or students could type in a spelling word and then use that word to create other words. For example, the, we, um, they might try to make another word, are, uh, and record them. It's a great little widget to use. This widget here is a puzzle maker. You simply go to your gallery, find the image that you'd like, and drag it across. This is the original image. I can shuffle it I can select the number of rows that you'd like so I'm not four by four uh, four by three select shuffle and students need to click on the image piece to move it you can also select numbers and students again click on a puzzle piece to move the pieces to get them in the correct location. And so forth. This widget here is using weighing scales. So you can see that students can drag up a weight. They can use the pen tool and they can record the mass. Then they can also match on the other side. So they might put out one. And if they actually balance the scales, you notice they get it correct. There is information for teachers on the widget. And you can also select whether you want handwritten input, display totals. What you can also do is you can adjust the measurement that you would like. This widget is called a distance converter, so it basically converts different measurements for you. So here I'm converting from millimetres to kilometres. I can change that from centimetres to kilometres. And you use your pen tool, you might write over the top. I'm going to write 40. And it will convert it automatically for me. 
and you can see there are a range of different measurements again. Next widget is visual fractions. I really like this one here. So students can use the pen tool and they might write their fraction. We might write for three quarters. How about half of minus three? Let's just try that again. So I might have three quarters. It's recognising the numbers and it'll actually eject the fraction for the students visually. Let's try another one. Six tenths. And it ejects the fractions for the students visually. A great tool, a great widget which is free to download from your Smart Exchange. There's also the piano. And that's about the limit of my music abilities. This other, this other one I had here was the interactive periodic table. Just click the wrong button now. I've got lots of files open. If I just, I might undo. It's loading it at the moment. If I just simply minimise that one, I minimise all of them. And I'll quickly open that one again. It might open a bit quicker. So that was the interactive periodic table. I really like this one because you can click on the various elements and it gives the students a visual and a descriptor. of the element and students can also write an element they, that they're searching for. You can see that it's loading, which is our flash files, so they do take longer to load. Whilst that's loading, I'll just close down these others. This is welcome to teaching technology for you. Okay, that one's taking a while to load. So basically what you do, if you click on one of the elements, it'll bring up an image and a descriptor. Students can use the pen tool. They can write, for example, iron, and then it will select the element which students are looking for. So again, they are available from Smart Exchange for you to download and use within your Smart Notebook software.